Hello, Bowdoin community, friends, alumni, students, families, and everyone else who has been a part of this amazing place that we call Bowdoin College. Welcome to my afternoon of music. I'd like to thank the President's Office, the Dean's Office, Communications Office, Events, uh, and particularly Chelsea Doyle for the initial inspiration of asking me to play for you all. Bringing our community together through the arts, through music in this case, there's gonna be a lot of events coming up, so stay tuned and stay connected, more importantly. This afternoon's music really speaks to everything I've been feeling. Um, we're gonna start off on the darker side, and as we move through and the styles change, it'll evolve, and emotionally, I think we'll feel uh, in a very different place by the end. So enjoy this hour of music, and I'll speak intermittently about what I'm doing. We're gonna open with Bach's Chromatic Fantasy and Fugue, one of his most unusual works. It's a very dramatic, very emotionally powerful work in four sections, one of which uses almost speech to communicate very deep and dark uh, expressions. I'm gonna follow that with a set of variations by Schumann, typically from the Symphonic Etudes, which is one of his most important works, It'll be a series of five variations that start very dramatic and then through a process becomes much more transcendent. I'll start with that and then we'll continue. Thank you.
Thank you all. These next three works wrap up sort of the 18th and 19th century music for our afternoon. We'll then move into other styles that express other things, all works that are personally important to me. And this next piece by Francis Poulenc, the great um, humorist from France of the early 20th century, wrote this gorgeous little piece as part of the trilogy. I'm going to play the first novelette, the novelty piece, but it's not really a novelty in the sense that we think of Gershwin's music. It's just something new that he wrote. It's beautiful in different sections, and it sort of harkens back to a couple of Baroque dances that were popular uh, in France in the 18th century. Um, that's going to be followed by one of the most heartbreaking pieces by Chopin, this nocturne in C-sharp minor, um, which over the years has been very important to me personally, as well as to the world. It was made most popular in a film called The Pianist, which took place during the Second World War. I'm going to end this trilogy with Rachmaninoff's very unknown piece called Humoresque. Lots of fun, very rugged. I think a piece designed to give us strength and a little bit of laughter. So here are Poulenc, Chopin, and Rachmaninoff.
We're going to shift gears now. I knew popular music long before I knew classical music. Growing up in Brooklyn as a kid, and then later in the South of the United States, in Belize even. So there's so many different styles that are part of my own personal culture. So I wanted to bring some of that because I know many of you uh, have uh, many different tastes as well. So the next two pieces I'd like to play speak more to early American jazz. This is a famous work by Harold Arlen. I won't even tell you the title, you recognize it right away. Uh, in a beautiful arrangement by the great American pianist, uh, Keith Jarrett, followed by a wonderful soundtrack uh, tune uh, by David Grusin, Memphis Stomp, two of my favorite uh, popular uh, pieces. Um, these speak personally to me in terms of uh, the poignancy of Over the Rainbow. It was one of my sister's favorite songs when she was a kid. Um, and Memphis Stomp is just a great fun piece to play. Uh, I think very appropriate for a Friday afternoon to get us going for the weekend. Here is Harold Arlen and Memphis Stomp.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Great fun. Great fun. I'd like to play two more pieces from the New Age genre. Um, this next piece was written by a dear friend of mine from Fort Collins, Colorado, Ryan Marvel, during a very difficult time in his personal life. And it's traveled with me all over the world. I carry this tune with me, and every time I have a certain kind of feeling, I listen to it. And he was kind enough to send me the music, and I'd love to play it for you now. Um, I think you'll know why. And then I'd like to end with a piece that has a lot of personal meaning to me. It's by one of the Piano Guys founder, John Schmidt, who wrote a piece called All of Me. It's not the original classic, but a new take on the idea of putting your whole self into it. And you'll notice what that means, particularly toward the end, as I use more parts of my body to play than just my fingers. So to end our afternoon, here is nostalgia and all of me.
Thank you very much for sharing this afternoon. Hope to do it again. Have a great weekend.